your next home could be stronger, faster to build, and actually less expensive. It is all thanks to 3D printing. Yeah, right now, researchers are in Houston pushing the limits of 3D printing. ABC 13 anchor Gina Gaston went to find out more about the project, all new at 10. This two-story home is being created not with woods or bricks. This is the material. But with a two-story printing machine that features big funnels that squeeze out cement the way you'd squeeze frosting on a cake. So this is the largest in the world and the first two-story house in the U.S. When it's done, this 4,000 square foot home will represent the next generation in 3D printing technology. Once it's able to cure, it becomes a unibody, uniform structure. It's being used worldwide, including this home in Austin, ABC 13 showed you in November 2021. All right, this is the end of this layer. 3D designs are drafted with a computer program that tells the printing machine what to do. Few workers are needed on the site. All throughout the house we have all sorts of geometry changes, interesting architectural details where we're really pushing the limits of what you can get away with with the technology. There are cool features like the 3D printed kitchen island and fireplace and 40 foot tall chimney but also practical ones, such as the double exterior walls with insulation sandwiched in between to reduce electric bills and make the house more fire, flood, and wind resistant. This project is a collaboration of three companies. New York-based Hanna, an architectural and design firm, wanted to push the limits of 3D printing to see if it can handle intricate designs, extreme temperatures, and of course, a big size. So this right here is a structural column which will support our floating walkway. Perry 3D Construction and CIVE, an engineering and general contracting firm, joined the team which prepped over two years on this project. Both companies want insight into developing affordable housing communities, especially helpful in rural areas where there are worker shortages. We want to do something very ambitious right off the bat, but use all that learning to where we can scale up to a, an affordable multifamily type solution. They expect it will take 220 hours to complete the home, which they call a laboratory. It's a hybrid construction that along with cement will have glass, wood and metal features. Their hope is this Spring Branch home will help cement the future of this technology in meeting the next generation's desires for a home that is eco-friendly, sturdy, and practical. So you're probably wondering what this house is going to look like when it's all done. Well, here's a good rendering, uh, drawings that we got from the developer and the architect. And you can see the house looks really cool, kind of futuristic, but it still has some soft elements uh, like those wood tones and also the windows and other things that you see in any other house. So we'll look forward to seeing it as well when it's all finished.